G'day kids, Aaron from Charlie Boots, and today we're going to build a merry-go-round. Alright kids, before we get started, let's go through our safety checks. Number one. Clean work area. Make sure there's nothing in your way so you can do a great job on your merry-go-round. Number two, check with your mum and dad. Make sure you got their permission to do the project and might be around to give you a hand. Number three, make sure you keep an eye on all the small pieces in the project because you might have some little brothers and sisters crawling around and you don't want them to eat the bits because it won't be finished and they won't choke. Safety checks done. All right, let's get started. So the first thing to do is to remove it from the packaging. And you just pull it out from there. Where does this go? In our pocket or in the bin? No problem there. So in the pocket it goes. So, let me take you through the process. So, here we go. All right, kids, let's get started. We've got steps one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten. Really simple. So step one, find the two center support pieces. So here's one. And there's the other one. Now the trick with popping these out is to finding the little connection where the pieces are joined to the plywood. And you just push against that and you pop it out. And there'll be a couple top and bottom and away you go. Alright, so there's our two pieces. You see this one goes over the top. And we're having fun already. Fantastic. Number two, we've got a round piece with five squares. Round piece with a bunch of round circles, a round piece with a bunch of different shapes. Aha, this is us. A round piece with five squares. Pop that out, nice and easy. And on the top it goes. All right, step three, we need to find this little cross piece here, it looks like the top of a helicopter. There it is. So we'll pop him out. Nice and simple. They can all come out. And all these little pieces come out too. You can see there, they're the bearings. So we can pop the little circles out. Sometimes it's easy to use a, a brush like this. Something that's a bit smaller than your fingers. And now that's that one. Okay. So here's step three. We've got the cross piece, the bearings, uh, top piece, and then we'll also need this piece here, as you can see. It looks kind of like a slice of a, a lemon with a couple extra squares in there. So we'll pop him out. So he goes in here. And we also need this piece here. That forms the axle at the top of the merry-go-round. You can see here that there's a split and that means it'll be able to wedge together and hold it in position. So this one goes on top and put these guys on here first. One, two, three, four on top and then axle goes through the lemon Call it like a lemon. We call it a lemon, uh, a lemon slice. Push it right in, just like that. It's not too tight because you want it to be able to move around. And see, so you can get an idea of how the how the bearings work. And this is very similar to the bearings that you'll have in your car. There's two surfaces, and then there's some ball bearings in between. And as one surface rotates, the ball bearings. Reduce the friction. Number five, time to get our animals. Now in the Ferris wheel, we have a horse, a bear, and an elephant. Pretty exciting. So we're gonna make sure we've been careful when we're popping these out. We certainly don't want to damage them, but they are pretty strong. So here comes our, our elephant. Popping out all the pieces. One elephant. Now, time for a bear. 
Hey there, Bear Bear. Who said Bear Bear? I said Bear Bear. All right. You guys having fun? I'm having a great time. All right, we got a bear. Next off is the beautiful horse. My little girl, she loves ponies and horses and unicorns. What little girl doesn't, huh? All right, buying those little tabs, pushing them out. All right, so we've got a horse, a bear, and an elephant. What's next on step five? We need the top ring and the bottom ring. Here we go. This is the top ring. There it comes. And we take the inner ring out. You don't need that. All right. So you can see here in the instructions, there's a certain way that the animals go in. And we've got it lined up here. So E, B, H. So B is for bear. And it tells you which way they're pointing. So if we grab our bear, definitely a bear. And we have our B for bear. As you can see there, B for bear. And in it goes. B for bear. E for elephant. And there's our E. And then H for horse, really simple. And in it goes. All right, we are looking good. So from here, what do we do? We get the top. So it's time for the top and you can see the connections here for the top of the animals and they go on the inside square. One, two, three, really simple. So line them up a little bit at a time. Don't try to put one on by itself because then you won't be able to get the others on. So you work it down bit by bit, just like that. Hey, that's looking a real treat, isn't it? We have the decorative pieces that go on top of the merry-go-round. And here we go, popping them out. One, two, three, and we've got a spare one, which is great. We'll leave that one in there for now. We can pop all these other pieces out too whilst we're at it. That one can come out. I think it's going to go on the top later. All right, exciting. So, from here, we put these pieces in. Now, these hook in under here, like so. And then slide in there. One, two, and the third one. There we go, look at that. So from here, it's time to build our Ferris wheel. And you see that these little pieces here go into the little squares on top of our bearing. Be nice and gentle. And now line up. You hear them click in. All the way down. You just want to spin it, don't you? Oh, it's exciting. So, what's next? We have a final little piece, this little cap piece here, and then we're done. Simple as that. So we'll just lift that up. And that's it, folks. One of our kits. I hope you had as much fun doing it as I did. You'll see in the kit 
and in the shapes that there's lines which make it really easy to follow to be able to paint the different pieces of your merry-go-round. It's up to you how you want to decorate this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time here on Charlie Boots.